From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here in studio with Ryan Aber, OU beat writer. Ryan Sooner is getting ready to head on the road for the first time this season, headed to UCLA. Chip Kelly coached Bruins, and uh, a lot of people expected Chip Kelly to go in there, work his magic, but it hasn't happened yet. And maybe a guy that you know saw it happen first and, and early at other places is Alex Grinch. These two guys cross paths. You know, coaching's a strange tree out there sometimes. They cross paths at an unlikely place. Yeah, they were together at New Hampshire for a couple of years, and Chip Kelly's a guy who stayed at that level for a long, long time, and I think a lot of people sort of uh, had tagged him as a lifer mm -hmm. at that level, but uh, finally was able to move on to Oregon, did great things there, and we all know his path since then to the NFL, and then finally to UCLA after that sort of flamed out. But uh, Alex Grinch has really high praise for Chip Kelly after uh, spending time as the defensive backs coach at New Hampshire when Chip Kelly was the offensive coordinator. Well, I got to think that when you're in that uh, mode every day, like Alex Grinch is and has been for a while with Mike Leach and, and on down the list now with Lincoln Riley. <laughs> yeah, he's faced some good offenses You there. get used to that in practice, but those early days when Chip Kelly's figuring out who he's going to be, I mean, I got to think he was trying all sorts of stuff on Alex <laughs> Grinch and that defense back at New Hampshire. Yeah, I actually asked Alex Grinch about this on Monday night, and he said we were always a day behind on defense. And while it was rough then, as they tried to scheme to see, you know, how are they going to stop what Chip Kelly was doing? And then he'd throw something new out there, and they'd have to figure it all out again. While that was difficult then, it's prepared him for what he's faced in the interim, which is, you know, some really powerful offenses in the Pac-12 when he was at Washington State and trying to turn that around and did very quickly. Uh, obviously, a, a different kind of look in the Big Ten last year when he was a co-defensive coordinator. But... I think once he gets into the Big 12 schedule, especially certainly this Saturday will help, but that experience in having to face that kind of offense day in and day out is going to help him, and I asked him about that, and he said there's no doubt about it because of those experiences and how much stress Chip Kelly put on him when he was a DB's coach trying to figure out a way to stop Chip Kelly's receivers. Let's talk about this Saturday. How much stress can Chip Kelly's offense put on Alex Grinch's defense? On Saturday, UCLA, as I mentioned, not maybe having the, the year in year two under Chip Kelly that a lot of people thought they would have, but what is the offensive, what, what's the challenge for the Oklahoma defense with that offense? Well, there's a couple things. One, uh, UCLA got their running back back last week who missed uh, that, that opening loss to Cincinnati. Didn't have a great week, 15 yards, or 15 carries, I believe 51 yards, but uh, he's back healthy. That helps. They've got a quarterback, the same quarterback who came in last year, uh, Dorian Thompson-Robinson, that uh, uh, hasn't been overly dynamic. I don't think he's Derek King, yeah. but he can move, the, move uh, on his feet, can get out of the pocket and make some plays. So that's something to keep an eye on if they're able to, to keep him in the pocket to limit his scrambling ability. Because even last week against South Dakota, we saw the scrambling sort of is what has hurt the Sooners a little bit. Mm -hmm. If they can limit that, then you feel a whole lot better about that defense heading into Big 12 play here in a couple weeks. All right, we'll see how it goes on Saturday night. It's a another night kick for the Sooners, 7 o'clock out in Los Angeles. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at Oklahoman.com and every day in the Oklahoman.